I'm Leon Todd for G66. Welcome to another Tuesday Tone Tip. On today's video, I want to offer up four of my favorite delay sounds in the Axe FX3, FM9, and FM3. These are going to run the range from short to long delays, mono to stereo and spatial delays. Before we get started, I'm using a PRS Custom 24 plugged straight into the Axe FX3, ODS100 clean model, my go to free TV Mix 7 IR and a tiny amount of Recording Studio C reverb. Let's just have a listen to this one. <laughs> Little bit of breakup on there. I love this ODS 100 clean for clean through to not so clean things. The first thing we want to do here is dial in a slapback delay, an iconic classic echo style effect. So we'll start by putting a delay block on here. I'm going to use delay number one. Now the delay block defaults to the digital mono type with about 500 milliseconds of delay. To me, a slapback delay or slapback echo, as some people might like to call it, ranges somewhere in the sub 200 millisecond range for whatever reason i always slap in 120 milliseconds for the value on a slapback you can tweak that to taste let's just have a listen to what that does 120 milliseconds on the digital monotype mix at 50 percent feedback at 10 percent <laughs> too bad it's nice and bright sounding I personally would bring the mix up on that to around 30 or 40 percent let's have a listen to that However, when I think about slapback effects, I often think of older analog style echo units which have very limited bandwidth. So if you like that general slapback delay time and mix, you can play around with some different types. I'll give you a few examples that I really like. The first one would be the analog mono type. This is gonna sound a lot darker than the digital mono type. Let's have a listen. <laughs> For a kind of compromise between the really dark slapback and the really bright slapback, try the mono tape. This one works great straight up. You can even dial in a second echo head in here using the head two controls. Let's hear a single head at 120 milliseconds, then I'll bring in head two. <laughs> The second type of delay we're going to dial in is a classic dotted eighth style rhythmic echo. We want to sync this to the tempo of the song. So we're going to come over here, maybe start with the vintage digital type over here and set the tempo to one eighth dot. It's type number 11 over here. You can play around with the amount of feedback and the mix control. I generally like the mix control at 50% so that my echoes are roughly the same value or volume as my main guitar tone. I've set the tempo here to about 140 BPM. I could tap that in while I'm playing and have this sync up, but this is what we get on here. <laughs> got that very aggressive, percussive 80s style echo going on. If you wanted something 
a little less in your face, try the mind guy delay in here, either the stereo mind guy, in this case, I'm playing in mono, so I'm just gonna go with the deluxe mind guy delay over here. It is adding some modulation. The stock setting 0.7 Hertz, 25% are really tasty in my opinion. And this one is gonna be a lot darker sounding because of this extended high cut frequency on here. Let's have a listen to the mind guy style delay now. <laughs> Let's contrast with the stereo mind guy placed after the cab. So we get this in stereo. This is gonna sound absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Next up, let's continue with the delay block after the amp and cab, and we're gonna use a pan delay type over here. We've set the delay time to 600 milliseconds, so kind of a longer delay on there. Feedback at 30%, I've turned the mix down to about 30%. You can set this as high or low as you like. Some people like this as an always on subtle effect with a low mix. I personally like it as an effect with a mix up quite high. And then if you go to the modulation section over here, the LFO3 will control the rate at which your delay pans from left to right. So let's hear it at a value of one hertz. I might plug in something a bit slower like 0.3 hertz, and then we'll try something a little bit faster. Check this out. I've switched over to the USA lead amp model. <laughs> My personal taste with that is to set it somewhere between about 0.5 and 2 hertz on there. If it's too fast, you don't really get the panning effect. It sounds more like it's kind of chopping up between the two sides of the stereo spectrum. And if it's too slow, it never really gets a pan all the way across and back. A great variation on this is to use the 2290 with modulation type in here. Go to the echo pan control set it to 100 and then come to the modulation section, set the target for LFO3 to be the pan control over here. And then let's go for about 0.7 Hertz on the rate. The 2290 has a very unique feature in here where the phase reverse is set to the right channel on here. So one of the channels is out of phase with the other. It creates a gigantic, massive kind of psychoacoustic effect coupled up with this panning effect, it is absolutely glorious. <laughs> To finish things up, I'm gonna show you how I like to dial in a dual delay with two different delay times on the left and right channel. You can use the dual delay type, which works great for this. However, a slightly faster way is to select any of the stereo types. I've gone with stereo BBD over here and simply go to the left-right time ratio. What we're gonna do is set this as a subdivision of this main time over here. So what I like is a quarter note and a dotted eighth note delay. I'm gonna set the tempo over here to be a quarter note. Now a dotted eighth note has a value that is 75% that of a quarter note delay in there. So one way to think about it is a standard eighth note is half a quarter note. Adding the dot on the end multiplies that by 
0.5 or it adds 0.5 of that value in there. So it's 50 plus half of 50, which is 25. So it's 50 plus 25 plus 75. So 75% will give me my quarter note and dotted eighth note dual delay. And I'm pretty much done. I just personally go through and choose my favorite stereo type. The BBD sounds great. You could use digital stereo, analog stereo, any of the other stereo types that have this left-right time ratio. And now we've got this. <laughs> There's two reasons I prefer this method over using the dual delay, even though I do use the dual delay a lot, especially if I'm chasing a very specific tone. If I just want a quick and easy lead tone on here, I find it a lot easier to first just select a delay type, which has the modulation, the EQ, the drive, all that fun stuff preset on there, and just get the tone and character I like that way. The second one is that by playing around with the left-right time ratio, the feedback will scale for the longer and shorter delay on there. So they kind of run out of steam at the same time, and it's going to create, uh, I think, a more kind of balanced stereo image on there. Let's hear, say, a ratio of two-thirds on here. So I'm going to plug in 66%. You can see in there that feedback left is now 30%. Feedback right has gone up a little bit on there. This is another great one, even though I reckon 90% of the time, I just plug in 75%. There are, of course, so many other great ways to dial in delays on here and a whole bunch of features that I didn't really explore, like dialing in modulation on the delay lines, playing around with the ducker, advanced features like the EQ, the compander, bit reduction, drive. It's all in there if you want to get to it. But I guess the focus here is a lot of classic delay and echo sounds should be pretty easy to dial in, whether it's a slapback or a rhythmic delay or some kind of panning delay, or like we had a look at here, a dual delay, which is probably slightly more of a modern thing in there. For lead tones live, I generally go with some kind of dual delay if I'm playing in stereo, along with another delay block in there for my rhythmic echoes. And on the Axe FX3, you can have up to four delay blocks in here, which is pretty fantastic. So you could have a delay block for each of these types and switch them in and combine them and come up with textures and tones that would cost a lot of money in the real world. Once you've got a fractal device in here, you have access to all of this. I keep saying it, but this is one of the reasons I really, really love these products. And I'm sure it's the reason a lot of you love them as well. So let me know your go-to delay tone times and types in the comments section below. If you've got suggestions for future Tuesday tone tips, let me know in the comments. Have a great week and I will see you for the next one. Cheers.